thought I thought that we had some sort of game plan. I told you I, what I needed. You said we should make a list, but yet you don't. But I've seen the counselors not to just it's not going to do it. It's not alone. I'm not. We've got to change how we do things. And I want to trust you. And I feel like all the trust is gone. All the fucking trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I, we fight together, no but you're trust. the only one who splits, and I, I want that back, but you, you... If there's no trust, there's nothing to then be maybe there's n Then maybe there's nothing to talk about. But I did come over here with enough love in my heart and sincerity Thank you. To, to say to you that all the things I said, which now I feel like that I meant them, you know what fucking meant them? Even though you fucking split, didn't come home. You know, I, I still, I still did that. I fucking, I've shown myself. I've proven myself. I've fought for you. I've showed up. I'm not gonna be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking. What about all the other times you split? Come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it at, me like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. And you don't actually do it respectfully. You don't do it in a way that actually means we won't fight. It always makes more fights. It always makes them longer. It never, ever makes you calmer. You never come out going, I want to talk or I'm okay or it's going to be okay. And I am a hundred, I'm sick and tired a hundred percent of being the only one that goes and fights for it. You know what that does? It demoralizes the, 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 the half of this relationship that is me. It demeans me demoralizes me. Really? Yes, really. Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I've left when I go into the other room, you say. You leave how you get another room, you get a flight, when, things like that. And you asked me not to in is, Australia, and ever since no, then, how many, I've how many, how many, how many? I don't know, wrong. I have to count them up. No, because I haven't left you, left you in a house, maybe twice. Last, last night, and another time. No, you've done it before. I've come here before. I'm not doing that anymore. Well, yeah, you've come here before. Last time and another time. And then and last time. You've done this several times. And, yeah. and getting me a room. I mean, getting another room in a hotel is just the same thing. When did I get another room in a hotel? You uh, text Stephen or, or Nathan in Toronto to get you another room. It's chronic. It happens all the time. And if you do it to go into another room, you... Do it and you get dressed. You were fucking screaming at me. I'm not going to validate my actions last night. I feel very bad. No, I'm talking in Toronto. I, I did not start screaming until you had fucking said all this shit. You poke an animal enough, it is it's eventually, not, doesn't matter how friendly it is, that's how not cool. True. Well, I it's the cool same for me. So long, it's the same for and me. And you kicked kid. and kicked and kicked so bad. I have not done this to you. I have not said these things to you. Yeah. I have not started the fight by saying then I'm going to get in another room. And I'm not going to sit here and fight about fucking Toronto anymore. Guess what? I let it go. I'm not fucking about, I'm not fucking talking about Toronto. Send I can me the tapes. It. I can whisper it. I can write it. Guess what? I'm not saying another fucking word about Toronto. I'm so sick and tired of fucking fighting about old fights. This is not about a fight. This is broad. This is a broad thing. And if I'm telling you every single time you get dressed and you fucking split the top of a fight, you never fucking try and work it out, you never fight for me, you never come to me, you never self-calm, you never self-soothe, you're never the one to throw the olive branch, I'm sick and tired of it, it needs to fucking change. And you can go, I can't meet those demands, I can't do it, or you can fucking promise me so I have a modicum of safety, I feel a modicum of respect, a little tiny shit sliver of fucking like, you are in this whether it is good or bad, whether it is good or bad, down and up, lows and highs, tough, 
and easy. Not just when it's easy. I feel like you're a fucking vacation husband. You were so there when it's good. You're so there when it's easy. The second it gets hard, you question it. You uh, Last night, I'm just as guilty. I give you that. But I have been primed and conditioned. At this point, I couldn't, I thought I'd never get over Toronto. It hurt so bad. I got fucked over so bad and I did not do anything like that. I didn't stoop that level at all. You got the tapes when they hear them. Absolutely. I wish, ugh, I wish it had caught everything too. Why don't you send me the, send me the fucking recordings? I will. Just, I will. just text them to me. Um, I don't know how else to say I will to you. Hasn't really been a kind of safe environment now, has it? So if I'm looking to stroke, um, stoke a fire, yeah, okay. I haven't because we have not been well. We have not been good. And when I fucking move out, if I move out, then you fu I'll have a, you'll have them and you can fucking relish them. You won't fucking like it, what you hear. Won't make you happy. But you'll hear what I'm telling you. We haven't really been good. It hasn't really been a safe environment, now has it? You act like you're fucking on something when I haven't, you know, sent you this. Like, well, send them to me. Get this. It hasn't been good. It's been a little tough. Well, it wasn't before Rio. Was it tough? I mean, it was only in the sense that you tried to keep me, you know. It's been really tough. And why did you come to Rio? All I've been trying to do is be with you, spend time with you. You said you needed that. You said that it made a difference when I wasn't working. You wanted me to travel with you. That was the time you, you were looking for apartments? That was after Toronto. Yeah, that, that's when we came back here. I know where Toronto, we were. Toronto, Boston, here. Rehearsals. I know where we were. We've been on the road basically since Australia, and I have been at your side. And I have not been filming the movie. Well, we were on our honeymoon. I hope you were at my side. I'm not talking about just a honeymoon now, am I? I'm talking about many months. And was it all the honeymoon? No. I have been at your side throughout it all. You said, why did you come to Rio? And I answered you. I would love for it to be better. I have no fucking consistency, no safety, no security. The relationship is something, me, is something you don't fight for, you don't stand up for, you always run from when it's tough. I, I'm telling you, I need... More, I need. We didn't say vows. You didn't make them exactly in the same in that in that way, you know. But, but now is a fucking time. I need to know if you're gonna be there. I want promises. I told you that at the beginning of this conversation. I need promises. You're gonna fucking be there. I need promises that this is important to you. Not when it's easy. When it's hard too. If this is something you'll fight for. That this is something that's sacred. That neither of us throw out every fight. I can't be the only one to hold the promises. I was in Toronto and it fucked me over. I can't be the only one. You can't be the only one. If I split on you, all those times that I thought about doing it, we would not be here. And I stayed and it's tougher. You know that's stronger. I'm stronger. It is easy to run. It is easy to run away from problems. It is easy to take that out and say, well, that's the easiest, that, I mean, that's the best, safest, that's the safest way out. I'm not saying we should get in physical altercations. I never want to be in that. Never. But every time you don't like what I say and you fucking run away, will never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. You can't. It's easy. It's, it, it's not brave. It's not strong. It's harder to say to somebody, I want to work this out. I want to face what I have. I want to face what you have. I want to work it out with you. You're not working it out. You're running away. And then you make me be the bigger person every single time and come to you and knock on the door and come to this house and say, hey, we're married. It's supposed to be sacred. Come I down. Calm you. down. I made you. Yes, by default. If you're never the one to do it, one of us is, and I'm the one to do it every time. It means I'm the bigger person every time. It means I have to be the strong one. It means every time I have to fight for our relationship. And you get to be not, you get to be lazy. You get to be cowardly. I don't then know what, what it is. what are you is. here for? What do you need me for? Once again, I am fighting for the relationship. I With want... a guy that you don't fucking trust or like? Why? I did not say I didn't like you. I love you. You're my favorite person in the world. I don't see how I, I Remember be. what I said at the beginning? I'm sorry you feel like you can't imagine it. But I said this to you at the beginning of this conversation. I said, you're the, my favorite person in the whole world. If you weren't the most magnetic, 
shiny, beautiful, interesting, dynamic person I had ever met in my life, it would be so easy to walk away from this bratty thing that you Untrustworthy, do. Untrustworthy. Uh, um, uh, Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. I said I can't trust. I can't trust. That's not meaning you're untrustworthy. It means we've created a situation. And I'm telling you what you do to create it, too. We've created a situation in which there, it, there cannot... Trust can't grow. It's like it's trampled every single time, and we need a marriage. That's why I sat down. Do you not remember me sitting down at the very beginning of this conversation and saying just that to you? Say, I know you got married for security and for safety. So did I. We did not get married because it was something that we're doing, you know, for because it was something we could walk away. We wanted the state, the foundation. No? I want you. Yes, I wanted to make you my wife. I yes, yes, but you could just have me as your girlfriend if you didn't want the foundation. And you told me, and maybe you go back on it now. Fine, okay, cool, lie about that, I don't know. You told me you wanted a foundation. You told me you wanted the security, you wanted the safety. You liked the foundation. At the beginning you said, I really like having that. It of feels course. safe. So of don't course. argue with me when I say it now. I'm not arguing with you. Oh, yeah, but you had to pick it apart. By saying because I loved you and you're my wife? I wanted you to be my wife. That's picking it apart? No. Then how did I pick it apart? I'm not, I, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight about a fight. I want to fight about the semantics. I want to how come when I come up with a point, you can't answer it? You don't want, or suddenly you don't want to answer it? What am I not answering? Because I don't want to fight about this new thing? No, I don't want to. I, I said you wanted the safety and security, and you stopped me, you interrupted me, and then you said, what? Because I, we, 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 no, because I wanted to have you as I my I didn't interrupt you. You asked me, right? You said, right? I meant you interjected. I meant you said. You said. How about that? See, now, is this better? I answered you. I addressed what you're saying. Now, can we please not fight about that? And I said, because I love you. You said loved. talking about a fucking event this past tense. If I used loved, I, I, my apologies, it doesn't mean you don't love me now. My whole point that you had, a, I don't know what issue with, is that you love me, yes, you married me, though, because you wanted sa some safety, some security, some stability, a foundation. Now, if you take issue with that, okay. Take issue with it, but if you agree, then and you agree that's who you were when you married me. Yes, but the only thing that's missing is with you. Really? I wanted those things with you. Yes. And that's yes. what I was trying to say. Me too. Because I love you and, 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 and I wanted you to marry you for that, for our love, for the security, for the foundation, for... Yes, of course. But you left for you. I'm sorry I didn't. Me too. I mean... With you, of course. Or with you, or whatever. I mean that, of course. Of course I do. Of course I want that with you. It's why I married you. But I need the safety, I need the security, I need the boundaries. And I think you... I could need, you not agree? I need, this, I need the same things. So, I... But when you start flipping out, and I can't get a word in, and it's, and it's, you know, manic and angry. Okay. What the fuck, Amber? I get angry. I get, I'm human. This is the kind of situation where okay, one gets well, angry. Okay, but you can't provoke anger in me then. I, if I, just you try. can't control that. But just if I'm angry. Just try. Let's both try. If there's anger, if there's something fucking really really fucking poking us in the ass. Let's try. Mm. Try not to fucking fight. Try to address it without jumping down each other's throats because all that's going to do is build a mountain of fucking uh, resentment, uh, uh, some species of fucking hatred within the love and... and uh, uh, so totally fucking mistrust because you say you don't trust me, you don't trust me. I get it, okay. I'm flake, I'm a this, I'm a that. I didn't All say right. as a person, I it was speaking specifically about this. I don't trust the marriage, I don't trust you, I don't feel safe with it because you always fucking bail on it. 
Well, then I, I don't know, you know. I, I want I, the trust back. I don't, you can deflect all you want, say it's my fault, say how dare I get angry at you ever, whatever. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As much as you don't like that shit in your marriage, I don't like the, the guff that you, that you uh, put on me in our marriage. And if it causes distrust in me, it causes distrust in me. I, yeah. I don't and know And I don't, and I don't know. You. I don't know what And sometimes I don't. I don't want to fucking be there and go through the shit. I don't, man. I don't. I know. And I don't want to, because I don't want to fucking fight. But it doesn't have to be one. It's not like I'm saying, hey, choose fight. You just said I get mad, I'm going to scream. No, I didn't say oh, that's always the case. I said, yeah, I'm mad. It happens. It happens. Yes, I know. It happens often. <laughs> the things that are wrong are repeating themselves, and they happen often. If you think I'm some fuck it, fucking tyrant or bully, then don't fucking be with me. But don't sit here and insult me like I have a f I'm the fuck up because I have the but you're audacity the one to get me saying mad. that I'm the tyrant and the bully and the and at the same time the the, the, the guy that runs bully, away yeah. and you the are you run away every single fight. Okay, so I mean, then what are you? Then I'm not doing lying about it. Then what are you doing with me? I already answered that. I already spent. We went through this conversation literally five minutes ago. I answered this already five minutes ago. You just said to me that I shouldn't be with you. No, I said if That's you. What I feel. No, I said if I'm some, you know, harping bully, which is what you make me sound like. Like I'm like constantly on you, making you feel bad. That's because that's what I do. And then you ignore everything. You take me for granted. You're ignoring everything that I do for you. You make me sound terrible. You talk about me in a terrible way. You uh, you do not fight for me. And then you want to sit here and make me sound so terrible to be around. What do you mean I don't fight for you? You don't. I, everything I've already explained. No. Ten minutes before. No, fight for you. I don't understand. What you never, mean? ever do the work. Put in the work. If we're arguing about something, you don't ever try to get to the bottom of it, figure out, make the peace. You want to make it easy on you so you split you don't fight for me you don't fight when there's a problem you don't come to me you don't uh, uh, make peace with me you never extend an olive branch you're never the bigger guy you're never the one that's like okay I'm gonna put my own feelings aside for a second and say this is bigger than us let's stop fighting you never are the one to come and knock on my door you take me for granted it's not true not true. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and Those are diff whatever that's the different. fucking else at me. That's different. That's one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you vases come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really? I should just let you throw... I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether I throw pots of hands. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you, you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who fucking did that. I don't fucking... I didn't... So that makes, so that makes sense. So that I... That's no. clear. Yeah. Do I do I, the only time I ever threw anything at you was when you fucking are you, threw the cans at me in Australia. Why are you trying to justify who throws things based because on whether or that, not you come knocking on the door? I don't because get that why is a fucking irrational and violent fucking maneuver. How so a man would want to other? get out of that area so that he doesn't get so fucking angry that he actually does pop the fucking wife. How does one inform the other? Oh, man. Go home and listen to the tape. Please. That's what they're for. Yes. You listen to the fucking tape. Oh, I'm gonna. So will I.
I'm not here to sit here and promise you I'll never get mad at you or that you'll never fuck up. I know you want to live in a land, in a world where everyone just says yes to you and doesn't question you or criticize you ever. Don't ever. insult me like that, please. But that's not the case. It's not why you're with me. I am honest with you. I'm sorry. You don't want to be held accountable. I get it. I'm Anyone not sure really you're so does. honest with me. Well, that's your... Watching you live in front of Travis yeah, last night was really a That's spectacle. your problem, and that's your whole thing that you've created. That's my problem, but my problem is that you don't trust me? No, what I don't trust you What the fuck is going on in there, man? I don't trust you in this, and I want the trust back. You don't trust me in our marriage? Well, what is everything we're talking about? Our marriage? Tell me if you want to stop talking. You're saying you don't trust me personally, me you, just or you don't trust me, me in the marriage. What I don't understand, which is what's so different. Tell me the difference, please. I think I have in the last few hours now. Uh, no, I think you could probably explain it to me a little better. I'm, I think I'm wanna, slow. You want to keep being an asshole? Do I want to keep S being an asshole? Stop the attitude. It's a redundant question. Stop the attitude. I should stop the other. Okay, sure, no problem. Stop! No problem. So I'm not going to sit here and go over every fight we've had. I'm not going to refight this fight. You have something you're holding on to about Travis. Fucking go. Fucking go fuck. <laughs> you know? Go do it. Go run away together. I don't know what you're fucking holding on to. But you have created that. I have no part of that. I don't know what you're fucking latched on to in your brain. What stray hairs have fucking commingled and tangled in your brain. To make you think you've really figured some sort of thing out. But this is not unusual for you. It's like almost every fight I can pretty much guarantee you will find something that you can like Let's, let's ask Travis tonight if you Yes, told why don't we him. invite Travis into our, uh, in our, into our fucked up, broken ass three fucking wheeled truck of a marriage why don't we crash it straight into the wall because no one knows us better than fucking Travis. You're just afraid that the truth will come out. What truth? That you lied. What are you fucking talking about? I didn't fucking even have a, a, a fucking thing to lie about. What are you fucking talking about? Every fucking fight, there's a new thing that you've convinced yourself no, is a lie. I said to you, You're... Amber, tell Travis what you just did. Did you just fucking, <laughs> did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick, did you, uh -huh. did you? And you wouldn't say a fucking reason. I don't know you what you're talking about. Lie. Never fucking, I see the never lie. fucking happened. I see the lie. You really should run with this. In fact, maybe you and Travis can like go and like, you know, do a tell-all about what a, hey, what, you stop. know, an investigative study. Stop with study. the attitude, right? Sorry. Stop with the attitude. Sorry. You're getting all bunched up. Sorry. Sorry. I don't, it's so fucking pointless, and you know it, to say you're a fight about fucking... Whatever you think happened with Travis, it was no. a conversation. Listen, we I was not high. I'm not going to. You lied, to. you're asshole. You're fucking full of shit. What lied, lie? You're asshole. When? Hmm? What conversation did I have with Travis? I, um, big, big investigative study you've done. I'm not sitting here no, and fighting with you about the fight that we had last night. I was in a situation with you. After you fucking night. got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, come up here because I, I didn't want anything to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. come, come to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis to the rescue. No, that, no, that was the last one. You can go, uh, you can go. That was the last insult. Oh, yeah. You, you, do, you called me a liar and yet, yeah. Yet. I watched you lie. You called me a liar? I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I was bullshit. right there. There's no, what? You still haven't told me what lie it is. We'll talk but yet, to, every single fucking time. We'll you know you Travis. do this every single fucking we'll talk time. talk to Travis. I'm not fucking talking to nobody. No, Fuck that. You, you fucking... go fucking jerk. Go jerk him off. I don't care. I really could care less. It's you every single time. You latch onto some sort of thing. When I already told you, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is. But run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you told me to do it. 
You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t- tell them what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the You're fucking right. f- thing and you, you spit in the face. Out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie. You. And then I, I didn't I punch s- you, and by the I- way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, hit you. Me across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. You know, I know. Yeah, no, I when you fucking have a closed you fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. You can't I don't know what me. the po- motion of my actual hand was, but you're... Fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your I, toes? I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's you, the difference you between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You're a baby! Because Call you, the fuck off, Because you start Johnny. physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, 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 what's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? Just by running away. And you can sit here and, and call me names, but you get called a name, and what do you do? That's the last insult. You're a baby. You're a hypocrite. You don't do anything that you actually do. You expect from people what you can't give them. If they do something, a taste of it to you, you fucking lose it. But yet you dish it out. What are you doing with this? I'm giving you a Xanax in case you need it. Oh, thank you. It seems like it's warm off. Yeah, it probably has. But I love you, and I've told you many million times in this conversation how much I love you. I do love you. And I've fought for this marriage, and fought for you. Do the same. Not ever. Not ever. Okay. I got married to you. To the foundation. So we start up. so that it could be a trendy thing we throw around at each other or run away from you. But I haven't even been able to have like a fight with you beyond in any real talking kind of speaking context in so long because anytime anything goes wrong you split. I feel like it's your first thing. And it's unnecessary. It's not always uh, you're splitting because there's blows or because there's yelling or anything. You split many, most times, when I'm still speaking in this volume and nothing has been thrown or hit or anything. destroyed by constantly being reminded that you take me for granted or that you don't see this as a permanent thing for better or for worse. I feel genuinely that you are here in this marriage and committed to this marriage for the better and really not for the worse. You can't say the same about me. I fight even when I feel terrible. I show up. I pursue, I, 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 I give you space, I have, I've done everything 
to really show how committed I am. You know I am. I'm here, for God's sake. Um, no, not when it's tough. Not when it's hard. Not when it's worse. This is the bit. The, this is the grandest gesture you've shown me in a long time. Is by sitting in one place and actually facing some of the stuff we need to talk about. This is the bit. The biggest gesture you've given me in a very long time. It means a lot, of course, but. Uh, I know there's things that I need to be different. I want to make you happy as a man. I know I can change certain things that are hurting you. But I know I can't blame myself entirely for going straight to the fucking finish line, the first sign of stress yesterday. Because of how it's been lately, like since Australia, and I have been on the road with you, I haven't been working, I don't know what else I could fucking do. Since Australia, we've been on our honeymoon, and we had a great time other than the fact that we had a fight in the train, which was physical. Yeah. But and then we had a fight in San Francisco, but I thought everything else was great, you are saying we've been pondering this since Australia. No, the, the splitting. The, Me splitting. Like, the lack of, you know, I even said this in Australia. I said, I feel like it was so good for so long we would talk about things. We were, remember we were allowed to have fights then. Remember we allowed ourselves to say, hey, you did this or you took, remember we would even have a little argument and it was okay, it was an argument. I don't know what the fuck has changed. I can't figure it out. And I don't mean to criticize uh, uh, anything that you do, but it's so chronic with you, the, 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 the changes in the personality. It's like sometimes you get these clear, clear months and you're this different person and it's wonderful, you're this, you're this. And then sometimes I'm like struggling to stay connected with you, struggling to have five minutes with you, you, you know, uh, struggling to connect with you, struggling to have my friendship with you and I can't fight with you you know it's like but they're so chronic that I have to go what the fuck has changed what thing has changed do you not remember how different you were so different you were so you allowed me to I allowed you to present what? and you were so present and we were allowed to fight we were, not even fight we had arguments you weren't like this, mood swings up, down, like really aggressive and really cool and calm. I mean, you've given me this time here on the couch and it's amazing that we can actually talk, but I never feel that safe. I constantly feel like you're about to fucking split and I don't want to feel like that. You made me feel meaningless. You threw me out of the bed room. Yeah, something. why wouldn't I if I know that, that you're about to split? I mean, that's what I'm saying. You I wasn't always wasn't about split. to split. You always split, so that's... Why wouldn't I mean I do blame myself for my actions? I was laying in bed watching television, man. I was laying in bed watching television. I fucked up last night. I'm not going to defend myself, but I also can't blame my, me going to the finish line when that's always where you drive it. You know. You're, but you're saying you thought I was you, you were sure I was going to split. But always. I, I mean that's just. That's Why would I split if I'm laying in the bed with you watching fight, television? Any time I tell you that I'm unhappy with anything, and it's typically the same thing. Any time I voice a complaint, I'm not allowed to have a complaint. I'm not allowed to think of anything wrong. I've told you this a thousand times. A thousand times I've said this to you in calm and in fights. Baby, I don't feel like I'm allowed to just have a complaint, and you aren't allowing me the luxury of us just being normal human couples, like, as soon as you get mad, you take off on a train, remember I even asked you, is it about Adderall, are you doing too much, I know it makes one edgy, it makes one, like, temperamental, could it be too much, like, what, is it, the alcohol doesn't seem like it, unless it's, like, in Toronto, where it just became that, but in general, it hasn't been a problem so much, so I don't know what, like, what changed, I mean, I'm sure, it's, something because it's not it's a same, chemical it's, it's strong same, no. it's one day you were different it's the same and it hasn't been back it's the same changes that are happening in you it's exactly the same huh? I really wish that, was the case. that is the case i have always allowed you to 
fucked up and be a human. I've always been able to have a communication with you. You, the difference is you make it so we cannot even communicate at all if it's anything negative. You go, you take off on a train, you don't get off. You don't calm down, you don't come back around, you don't honor when you say I just want a few minutes or I want a little time but I'll be back. You don't assuage the, um, the anxiety and the stress that that gives me and makes things worse with me by saying, hey, I will, we will, remember Keeper was like, you have to say, I will be back in this amount of time, more or less, and then actually honor it, you have to come back, so I said, oh my god, if he could do that, that would be great, and you never do it, you know, you don't ever honor that, you leave me with way more anxiety, stress, anger, and resentment, but in Australia, for a few months, you were so, so were you, it makes a difference. I wasn't being attacked. I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I have not attacked you any different. I haven't changed. I have not attacked you any different. I never attacked you. I never attacked you. Just because I have a complaint with something you did is not an attack. It becomes baby. verbally insulting. It becomes I all kinds of shit. Mean. It becomes like, like right, right, right at the get go. Yeah. See, that's the problem. If you see any criticism as a verbal assault, of of course we have this problem. We're gonna have it next time you do. God forbid I have a problem with something you do. We're gonna be in this situation. Say it Are nice. you ready for it? Say it nice, man. What if I'm hurt? Am I not allowed to be hurt and be human? That's the thing. You're not allowing me to be human then. You take my humanity you're from talking me. About you're telling me I'm not allowed to feel you're things talking and I'm not allowed to react because it to protect you. Last night happened because I was at Isaac's for too long. Next door. And for what? For what? What did, what did we gain from this fight? From from me just, you know, the horrible fucking act of me being over at Isaac's for just too long for you. I did not cause this because you were at Isaac's. That's, I mean, you lie to yourself. Go ahead. You're just lying Then to why were you upset last night? This did not happen because of Isaac's. This happened because we're fighting. This is not about Isaacs. We actually haven't really even talked about that. We spent two seconds on it because it's you know it's not about that. You know it's bigger than that. The point is I voiced a complaint. It could be anything. You could say, baby, you did something to hurt me, which you did, and you admitted. Why didn't you say that? You admitted that you would feel that way too, and yes. you said sorry for it. That would have been great, but I could not feel safe saying that to you because I knew that your reaction would very likely be a defensive explosion and an attack and freak out and get up and walk away and all this stuff, so I wanted to avoid it. So I took an Ambien to try and go to sleep without even having to speak to you about it because I was really hurt that you fucking left me stranded and you didn't think about me, you didn't text me, all the things that you apologized for. Yeah. You already apologized for it. Can you do me one small favor and not take it back? I ain't taking it back. Thank you. Stop defending it, please. You already apologized for it. It meant a lot to me. Do me one favor today. Don't take that back. And what did I just say? about me showering? No, it's, a, it's about you not allowing me to have any problems with you or be upset at you or mad at you or even hurt by you at all. You do not allow it. 